In this Kubernetes Bootcamp video, I'm going to review how to define deployments and other resources in Kubernetes using YAML files. Up to this point, we have issued kube control commands like run and expose to have the master create resources within the cluster. Now instead, we're going to learn about how to define an application description and then tell kube control to apply that application description to create a number of resources. You'll recall from our discussion of what is a deployment that there was a basic definition of what a deployment looked like, an nginx deployment.yaml. When we come back and review our existing deployment, we see that the my nginx deployment has two currently running pods. If we change the output format to yaml and add dash dash export to eliminate unnecessary values, we get back from Kubernetes the YAML description that it generated when we called kubectl run. You'll notice that there are details here which go beyond the details shown in this simple deployment. You can do the same thing for the Kubernetes service that we created. So to begin with, let's tell kubectl to delete our deployment of my nginx. We'll also tell Kubernetes to delete the MyNGINX service. At this point, if we tried to load our application, we would expect a, a failed response, which is what we see. So now let's have a look at what a basic YAML file might include. Every YAML file defines a kind. In this example, we have kind being deployment. We also have a service YAML file here that you see is of kind service. In our deployment YAML file, we're saying that we want two replicas. We want it based on the image nginx, and we want it to have the name myNGINX. We also want this container to be exposed on port 80 over TCP. In our service, we're specifying that we want the service to be named myNGINX. We also point out in a selector that we want it to work with the myNGINX deployment. The target port is 80. The port used to expose this service on the load balancer is 8300. Let's clean up our space here. We should now be able to see that kube control get deployment. There is no my nginx deployment. And we can see the same thing for services. There is no my nginx service. If we look at our kube yaml folder, we can see that we have the two YAML files that we've just looked at here. So in order to deploy this application and service, all we need to do is tell kube control to apply the YAML files found in the kube YAML directory. So you'll notice that kube control knows to go through that directory and it identifies every YAML file that has a structure that corresponds to a known Kubernetes resource. Now we can come in and say get services my nginx and we can also come in and get deployments and we see that it's in the process of spinning up a new deployment. At this point we should be able to come back to the browser and see our running nginx service. That ends my brief introduction to Kubernetes YAML files as descriptions of Kubernetes resources.